Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for coming and tuning in. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, guys, I'm asking you to either give, give it a thumbs up, give this video a thumbs up, motivate me, promote me, promote this video, promote my channel by just clicking the like button just before we, we move forward. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I said either do that or subscribe, but you can do both. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and I promise you that you'll always learn something new. So in this video, guys, I just want to talk about the highest paying careers in America. So as this channel is dedicated to helping you immigrate to America through education, through green card, through whatever means, employment. I just thought, you know what? Let's talk about the highest paying careers in America so that we can dream, right? If you are dreaming or just so you can know, just so you can know. So in this video, we're talking about the highest paying. Oh, what are we going to say about lawyering? Mm, 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 mm. So that's the uh, average or the mean salary. So America is oh, the land of the law, right? So there's always swing, 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 swing. But what I've seen a lot of immigrants do is pursue immigration law. Pursue immigration law. That's all I'm going to say. That's, that's my experience. Like I've seen a lot of immigrants do well with immigration law because you're gonna be out there, you know somebody who needs to file papers. It's always us, right? There's always immigrants, new immigrants. It's always a market. There's always market for immigrants. And becoming like top lawyers in this country is kind of hard. <laughs> it is hard. And it takes a lot of hard work to, to get, to, to even work for like top, 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 top tier like uh, law firms. So would I encourage um, any new immigrants to become lawyers? Yes, but, so I'll say yes, but. Pilot, that is self-explanatory right there. Um, I know a pilot who I actually asked her to come and speak here but she wants to keep it low. <laughs> so she doesn't want to be out there. But I don't know though, I have to check. I don't know, since September 11, when the terrorists, uh, when the World Trade Center was, was, uh, was bombed, um, they have really, really, really uh, scaled down on training, training, um, training foreign pilots. So this one I have to check. I don't know if they can, if they allow foreign foreign pilots to train in this country anymore. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But foreign foreign meaning um, you don't have a green card, so you need to be a citizen or maybe a green card. But yes, that's how much they get paid, guys. So you know, you just need a, a bachelor's degree and a lot of hours of practice, right? Financial manager is the same thing, like I said about the business manager. So we'll skip that. We will skip that unless you're starting your own firm. This is, I think, is challenging for anyone. Marketing manager, that's the same story. This is a food doctor. So anything, any, any, any career that includes you know, that that involves being a doctor is well paying. So this is food doctor. So there you go. I think the problem here is getting to med school. It is very difficult to get a scholarship. It's almost impossible to get a scholarship as a doctor in America. They don't. They train their citizens, and I think the same with Canada. So you either have to have good money. Even though I know people who did it, <laughs> I know people who did it. I, mean, I know like two people. I'm going to try and talk to them to see if they can come here and talk to you about how they financed their, I think one of them took loans, actually my ex, don't tell anybody, took a lot of loans um, to become a doctor, but I don't know much 
But if I find somebody who wants to come and talk to you guys about how to become a doctor in America or to go to med school, I'd be happy to, to bring them here. Be happy to bring them here. IT manager, you don't, you can take this off. You can just do IT software, um, whatever, anything else that doesn't, that doesn't involve the manager to start with. I'm not saying you cannot be, I'm just saying the journey, I'm trying to find good lighting guys, let's see. I'm, I'm just saying the journey to become this in America is challenging, it is challenging. Petroleum engineer, yay, lots of careers in, so this one you need a bachelor's degree, engineering. So this is good. Lots of companies in Texas, Texas. Actually, Michelle Boyd will promise to come here, to come to my channel to talk to you guys about her career. So hopefully she will come. And then she, she's a petroleum engineer. And she was in Kenya, but she came, she came back. She came back. Okay, so that's that. Oh, this one, guys, this one is a big deal. So this one is very reachable. So this one, you need a BSN in nursing and then do masters in to become an, an I can't pronounce this, guys. If I mess up, don't laugh at me, okay? Anesthetist, anesthetist, anesthetist. There you go. So for this one, you just need a master's degree, has a lot of liability. The schooling is, I know, I know a girl, we went to school, primary school together. She is now a nurse anesthetist. And actually she lives here in Arizona. I haven't seen her in a while. They pay good, but schooling, she said was very difficult. She had to drop everything and it's expensive. They don't have a lot of schools. But she did her nursing for a while. So she had money, she was able to finance it. So this one, I highly, highly encourage. However, however, guys, I just saw, I, I, I just did research starting next year, before you become a nurse anesthetist, you will have to be, starting next year, you'll have to have a doctorate degree. So that means you'll have to go two years of master's level and then two additional years to become, a, to become an anesthetist. So it's not very hard. So kind of like four years, four more years. So not bad. So this one, I highly, 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 highly recommend. What do they do? I think it's the before surgery, you know, they inject you <laughs> with something to, to numb your feelings. Yes, or to numb your muscles, to numb your pain. So that's what they do. Okay. Uh, oh, hey, actually, this is the information I was just telling you. As of January 1st, 2025, another website said next year. So as of January 1st, 2025, the sun is glaring on me, guys. I don't know. Should I? I hope this is not going to make it terrible. Okay, so starting January 2025, you will need a doctoral doctoral degree. So we already talked about that. Number 10, dentist. So this, I would say for this career, guys, to become a dentist in this country, Americans care about their smiles. Oh my God, they are not like the Britons. They are not like the Britons. We care about our smile a lot. Oh my God. Hold on guys. I will be right back. I need to like, or maybe not. Okay. So this one, you will never with this one, guys, becoming a dentist in this country, you will never, <laughs> you will never lack customers. So highly recommended for this one. How to finance it might be the problem, but you know what, where there is a will, there's a way. Okay, this is one of the doctors. I guess this is kids doctors. Anything to do with medical doctors, you're always gonna be earning. Who is, I don't know what this is. What is orthodontist? Is it orthodontist maybe? It's the teeth, it's the braces. 
can we search? I am gonna search, guys. I don't know what that is. Let's search. What is? Able to search for more. Yeah. Okay, so they are treating complex, specializing in treating complex dental and facial matters. Okay, okay. It sounded like an orthodontist, but I guess this is the complex issues. Physician, there you go. Anything with medical field, you're always gonna be earning good money, psychiatrist. So with this one, you need like a psychology degree and then go to med school. So psychology and then med school. Oh my God, let me take care of this guys. I'll be right back. I will be right back. All righty, <laughs> let's continue. Sorry about that guys. Okay, so where were we? Let's go back here. So psychiatrist, you go to, uh, you have to go to, you go to, you, you take a psychology, like degree in psychology and then go to med school. Already, so that's mental illness. Okay, next one. Oh my God, this orthodontist. Okay, so orthodontist, guys, 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 the same thing. So this is for, Braces, 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 teeth, right? I had to have braces myself, guys. So in America, like I said, teeth, dental issues are big. We care. We are so plastic, guys. We care about our teeth a lot here. So this one, the reason is because of demand. Demand is high. Oh, my God. And another doctor, gynecologist. There you go. Surgeon, 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 and then anesthesiologist. See, that's my challenge, guys. That's how much. So that's number one. Oh, so guys, I just wanted you guys to see how much, you know, like the highest paying careers. I hope that's what, that was informative. I will see you in my next video. Let's give this video a thumbs up. What do you think, guys? What do you think? Let me know, was this useful? Was this interesting? I'll talk to you in my next video. Until then, Kwaheri. Thank you guys. Bye.